Chua. Hello everyone, what's happening? It's Richard here! Oh my god, it's me! It's actually... I'm actually here! What is up with this? And I'm rocking a terrible beard and long scraggly hair like usual. I am a dirty hobo and I am excited about it. Alright, I gotta say it. It's, it's coming out, so I'm just gonna let it all out there. It's only appropriate. Happy New Year, everybody! Woo! Exciting. You know what, let's try it one more time. Okay, here we go, get another one. Happy... Damn it, come on, do it. Happy New Year! Still not exciting. No, but in all seriousness, uh, yeah, Happy New Year, everybody. It's, in fact, um, it's still December 31st right now as I'm filming this, but I'm sure by the time you actually watch this video, it will, in fact, be 2014, and I'm excited for 2014. I'm excited for all the new and exciting stuff to be coming my way, hopefully. Uh, it's all fun and exciting, so yeah. But before we jump into 2014, I do want to reminisce a little bit about 2013. Specifically, in film. I'm giving you guys my top 10 favorite movies from 2013. I actually have my list right here. I wrote it on a receipt for something. I don't really know. Man, I'm looking at my beard in the camera and it seriously is like terrible. I have the worst beard. I have like no mustache at all like that's just dirt that's it's just dirt <laughs> no but anyways let's get to this uh list here shall we number 10 on my list is monsters university this is a film that i didn't see when it initially came out in the summer it was a movie that i kind of didn't really have a lot of high expectations for it given my current opinion of pixar and while Monsters University isn't like the quality product you've come to expect from Pixar, it's still infinitely like height, like just so much better than anything I've seen from Pixar lately. Like it's so much better than Brave in my opinion, it's better than Cars 2, and it's so fun, and it has a really surprising ending. Number 9 on my list is Iron Man 3. One of the more controversial movies of the year, Iron Man 3 was a movie that it got kind of a mixed reaction from fans, specifically because of the whole Mandarin twist thing. But personally, from my standpoint, I thought the film was fantastic. And even though this film is controversial, it's not as controversial as my choice for number eight. Number eight on my list is Man of Steel. What? That's on a top 10 list? <sighs> Weird people. Weird people. No, but in all seriousness, Man of Steel is a movie that I think is fantastic. I think it's, it's exactly what I wanted in, in a Superman film for today. It's different. It's it's a new take on the character while still having, you know, a bit of faithfulness to it. I like Man of Steel. It's number eight. Deal with it. Number seven on my list is Prisoners. Prisoners, in my opinion, is going to be my choice for the hidden gem of 2013 of movies. It's not a movie that had a lot going for it, you know, I mean, yeah, it had Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal, but it, like, you didn't really hear a lot of people talk about it, I didn't really hear a lot of people talk about it, but I remember when I first saw it, I saw it just out of a whim because I heard people say it was good and I wanted to kill some time on a weekend and I thought it was just fantastic. And what I love most about it is that it takes a very overplayed uh, <laughs> movie storyline and makes it realistic. Number six on my list is Pacific Rim. The absolute definition of what a summer movie should be is exactly what Pacific Rim is. It is by far the most fun, most exciting, most, you know, action-packed, and it's like, it's just the biggest movie that came out in 2013. Like, no joke, when I saw that movie, I felt like I was 12 years old again. I felt like I was a little kid. Number five on my list is Catching Fire, the Hunger Games sequel. This was a movie I did not expect it all to love as much as I did. But once the credits the credits started rolling with Catching Fire, that's when I was like, that was fantastic. And even more shocking was finding out that the director of Catching Fire was Francis Lawrence, I think that's his name. Either way, he's the guy that directed Constantine and I Am Legend, two movies that are just like, have little like specks of goodness and like little little hints and little tidbits of possible like good movie with everything else being like, Ugh. Then he goes and makes a movie like Catching Fire and I'm like, why couldn't you have done that with Constantine? Number four on my list is The Conjuring. Again, a movie I was not expecting to in any way love as much as I did. That's what The Conjuring was. I think that was the prime example 
of a movie I didn't expect to love, I guess, in 2013. And it was just so good. Like, it wasn't just a great horror film. It was just a great film in general. Number three on my list is The World's End. I am a massive Edgar Wright fan. I think right now he is crowned my favorite director just because I love him so much and I love his work. And the thing I love most from Edgar Wright is the Cornetto trilogy films he's made with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. And this year was obviously a big treat for a lot of Cornetto trilogy fans because this was the film that uh, was going to end that series of films, but hopefully not be the last of films with all of them, of course, but it was going to end the Cornetto trilogy. This is by far the absolute best summer movie I've seen all year. It's just, it's so good. Number two on my list is American Hustle. Now, American Hustle was a film that I didn't really know much about. I mean, the trailers don't really give you much information on what the film is about, and that's something I, that always, like, intrigues me when I see trailers for movies, especially movies, you know, that are directed by people I really enjoy, like David O. Russell or Star, people I like, like Bradley Cooper and Christian Bale and Amy Adams and Jennifer Lawrence and all that stuff. And I actually saw the movie knowing that it was kind of getting all this Oscar buzz with a friend of mine who's not really into Oscar movies. Like, it's not he's not the first person I would ask to go see an Oscar movie. And we're both sitting there and we're watching this movie, and yeah, it's kind of long, but we're sitting there loving it. We're loving every second of it. And the number one movie of 2013 is, drumroll, Gravity! That's right, the absolute best movie I've seen all year was Gravity. Oh my god, that movie was... Like, no joke, that movie was just, it was engaging, and it was beautiful, and it was thrilling, and it was exciting, and it was scary, and it was loving, and, I mean, it had so many elements that worked so well, and it was, oh my god. I could go for days talking about this movie. There you go, that is my list for my top ten favorite movies of 2013. Yeah! Anyways, that is it for me in the comment section below what were your favorite movies of 2013 but anyways as usual don't forget to like this video follow me on facebook twitter directorscutradio.com tumblr and vine if you can links are all down below and follow carter on the marvel cinematic universe channel links down below for that as well subscribe to this youtube channel if you like what you see and favorite the video because i like it when you do that and i will see you guys with more content in 2014 happy new year Still boring. <laughs> Bye.